Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tip. In this video, we will learn how we can set Notepad++ with these top five settings. Now, if you've been using Notepad++ for a while, or you just started using Notepad++, these five settings will come really handy in future. So the very first one that you would like to set up is automatic backup. Now I cannot emphasize more about importance of this setup because many times you may face where you're working on a Notepad++ some some project and all of a sudden you know power goes down or something crashes or your windows stop working and if you don't have automatic backup you might lose all the unsaved text or code that you just wrote so let's get started the automatic backup can be set from settings preferences and uh, right here under backup now by default notepad plus plus do come with some kind of a backup set and so right here you can see that every time uh, every seven second notepad plus plus takes a backup of whatever you're doing and it usually puts it into this folder whatever the installation folder is uh, or, or uh, you might have a different folder in in your case and that is good uh, and that will definitely help you save uh, you know some some uh, shutdowns and so on but i would also recommend you to set up the save backup on save now what exactly is this now let's say you're working on a, on a file and you every once in a while you click save and then let's say you you would like to go back so you press undo and go back to the the, the things that you had made changes to now if you close close uh, notepad plus plus and if you reopen that then you cannot go back to those undos. And many times, let's say you're working on a large project and and you make number of changes, and then later on you realize that these were not necessary or you would like to go back. In that case, these verbose backup can come handy. So simple backup will basically copy the file when you click save. The verbose will be saved every time you click save button or uh, or save the file. Now you might wonder, well, would it create a lot of files? Yes, I think it'll create number of text files, but usually text files are pretty small and uh, it shouldn't uh, take up a lot of space. And you can always go go and delete those. Uh, so in, in my case, I usually uh, set up the verbose backup also. And so it's right here, I, I can show you. And this is how it is going to work if I click close. Let's say if I make a, just a minor change and press press save, you see it just created a, a backup uh, with the, the date and timestamp. If I make another change and click save, it'll create another one. So again, this is a personal preference. Uh, you might wonder, oh, it, it, it may have a lot of, you know, files, but the good good part is you can always go back and delete that and if you need to restore something back later on it's it's, it's available there now if you already have a, a a version control definitely you can use that but this is a poor man's version control i would say all right so so enough of uh, automatic backup let's go to the next one all right so the next setting is tabs to spaces and so in order to change this, you need to go to settings, preferences, and go to language. And right here, there is a tab setting. Now, depending upon the type of language that you're working on, these tab settings uh, are set up. Usually it's two or four. Uh, and so basically that is when you press tab, how many spaces should it go forward? Now, I always enable this particular checkbox box which replaces tab with spaces. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, if you don't do that, you will have number of spaces and tabs in your source code. And when you pass that source code to somebody else, if they have a different tab settings, all of a sudden the indentation in your file looks funny or different. And so make sure that you enable this feature and if you actually would like to learn more about the indentation settings, you can check out the video right here in which I go into a lot more detail about Notepad++ indentation settings. All right, so that is the second uh, settings that you would like to do. The next one is called a vertical edge settings. So let's go back to settings, go to preferences, 
and go to margins and border and here there is a vertical edge setting which actually adds a vertical edge at a given character and so it gives you a good overview of how long or how wide your source code is so i like to usually set it up to about 80 characters uh, it, it can differ in your case it can be 80 or 100 so in fact you can do multiple vertical edge you can do 80 and 100 as well and so in my case i just want 80 so click close and now you can see there's this blue faint line that actually tells me that this is about 80 characters and so usually the the common guideline is to keep it about 80 or 100 and not let your text go beyond that all right so that is the vertical edge settings now again i have a whole uh, dedicated video regarding vertical edge settings so you can check it out right here all right so the next one is auto complete features so let's go back to settings preferences and if you go to auto completion uh, notepad plus plus defaults are already set to enable you know word or function completion so if you already have uh, if i just quickly demonstrate if you already have a word and if you type that word again it will actually give you this uh, you know a recommendation for those word uh, and if you have some functions it can do that as well but then many times when you're using you know parentheses or curly brackets you would like it to be completed and so currently see you it is not auto completed and so that is something that i often do go to preference go to auto completion and right here there is an auto insert so anytime you use parentheses it will also use completed uh, the other uh, parentheses or so on and all of these and in fact you if you're working on html code you can check this box and it will make sure that every tag that you create in html it will also uh, write uh, closing tag so this is a very handy feature again i have a video right here if you would like to see more about it all right so we saw the backup tab to space vertical edge auto completion and finally themes and fonts so in order to change the theme you can go to settings go to style configurator and there are a number of themes right here i like the default one but there are a number of uh, dark themes uh, which are really good and you can use that uh, in fact i have the whole video about dark themes right here on the top right corner so make sure you check that out and i also like to change the fonts so default uh, courier new the that microsoft came up with is, is pretty good but they have another uh, a font called consolas i guess and i i really like that one this is a newer a monospace font and usually i enable this global font so irrespective of language that i'm um, working in it will always have this font setting and so if i don't have that you can see right here in the background it is still courier probably but once i do that it will always be the consolas font and then again themes can be changed right from here and so these are the top five things that i like to set up when i'm using notepad plus plus uh, these comes really handy in in many ways so i hope you guys like this video if you like please click like button and please subscribe to my channel i post a new notepad plus plus videos almost every week and uh, if you would like to be notified click uh, click that bell button also all right thank you very much bye